All right, so we're in the shop today and we're filming a car. That's right, this channel is devoted primarily to filming cars, unique cars, and whenever a cool one crosses my path, I like to do a little video on it. This is a 1981 Honda Accord. When was the last time you saw an 81 Honda Accord in this pristine of shape? Let's go through this car. I remember when these first came out. I'm a little older than I look, and uh, I remember these uh, thinking Accord. What a funny name for a car, an Accord. Is that short for accordion? What, is it? what does that mean? Anyhow, we seem to have adapted to the Accord name. Obviously, this is the first generation, and there's been many generations since. I can't even think of how many. They're still in production. I think they're like the 15th. But we've got... A nice silver car here, an 81 coupe with a red pinstripe, which matches the red interior. And wait till you see this. Look at the crushed velvet seats. Pretty sure these have been recovered. The back there, you can see the faded carpet. That's probably more original. In fact, let's see if we can pop, lock the door here. We'll pop the, uh, the seat up, see what the original material looked like. This thing is a time capsule. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, wow. So the rear seat looks just as plush velour as the front. I wonder if that is original. Interesting. It's the, the kind you just want to touch. It's so fuzzy. So there you go for the seats. Let's take a look at some of the interior appointments. Another thing that sort of makes this car rare is an automatic. Automatic Accords were not very common, I guess. I, I don't remember seeing them. Um, I believe it's could be a three-speed. I think it was a three-speed. Let's take a look at this dash. Notice that it says power steering on the horn. Let's see if the horn works. Yeah, the horn works. Look at that gauge cluster. What's interesting about this, let me turn the key on is being this is an automatic let's see if i can show you this see down here at the at the base of the tachometer there there's a little window watch when i turn the car on it's in neutral reverse drive drive two it's a little tiny digital readout i don't know I mean, for 1981, that's so advanced. Let me pull the key because that's driving me crazy. That's so advanced. Uh, that's crazy. What's equally kind of hypocritical is it doesn't have a digital clock. Well, it sort of does. See the blinking dots there? It's a quartz clock, but it's one that kind of rolls over and flips. I don't know if it's going to flip on us here, but it's not digital. So they went through the trouble to put a digital gear indicator but not a digital clock that's so interesting and then a couple more things about the gauges of course you've got all your your idiot lights across here you can see with the low fuel light turn signals brake oil battery seat belts also you probably saw when I turned the key I have the doors open so it shows a picture of the top of the car and the doors are open I haven't seen that in a while and of course your maintenance reminders here. You've got three odometer triggered uh, maintenance reminders, tire rotation, engine oil change, and oil filter change. And those are all resettable by poking the key this right here, into these little slots. See this right here? You would stick the key right into these slots. There's three in there and that's how you reset those. A lot of people don't know that. So pretty cool. I just kind of geek out on these old cars. Of course, you got your little coin purse over here, the coin stash. For all your coins, you can adjust your vents. It does have a rear window defroster and a rear wiper, which is sort of optional on this coupe. And then this car is equipped with air conditioning, so this is deluxe. To engage the air conditioning, you'd pull this all the way over to max cold and turn it on. And then you got our original Honda radio. Let's see what it says there. 
audio box. Actually, I'm not sure if that's original Honda radio, but it's got the original faceplate. Some really neat details back in the day. And of course, you've got your crushed velour door panels with your lock. You just don't see that stuff anymore. It's all electronic. We've got wind-up windows. We have ashtrays all around. We have interior door lighting. Now, this car was really deluxe for 1981. Pretty neat. Has original owner's manual. This car has been very well kept. Does not have a sunroof. Again, it's an automatic with air conditioning and power steering. Those things were pretty deluxe for its time. Let's look under the hood. So we have here a four cylinder engine. It is a four stroke, uh, water cooled, and I believe it's a, it, it's a 1751 cc, I believe they call it 1800 cc. Uh, the hood opens reverse style and it is carbureted. It has, I believe, the three barrel carburetor, one tiny, tiny primary barrel, uh, a secondary more like mid-range barrel, and then for full throttle you get all three barrels opened up. A little battery does have a dual service, dual, dual circuit brake system, a couple radiator fans, pretty neat little car. And we have the smaller five inch round headlights and these are the original ones. They're Stanleys, I don't know if you can read that or not. When have you seen a complete set of Stanleys? Oh, he's missing one. He's got a Sylvania halogen here and then something else. That's too bad. Those are the original headlights at those. So at one point in time, this car was in San Francisco. Really, really neat. It's in great shape. Love these things. Time capsule. Even Stella, shop dad, is checking out this car. It smells good, doesn't it, Stella? Yeah. I wonder if I can open the back here. Let's see if I can open it. Now it's locked. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking a step back in time. Checking out this 1981 Honda Accord LX. This would be the hatchback version. Automatic air conditioning. It's not that you see one of these cars very often. Oh, it also has the pop-out windows, I'm just noticing now, for ventilation. And of course, rear window to Frogger and real chrome trim. When do you see real chrome? You don't, not anymore. Blast from the past. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.